Alrighty, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to get started working overlay mosaic crochet center out. So first let's go over the graph and how everything works. So this is where you're going to start at your magic ring. It's denoted with the MR. Um, in each pattern, it will tell you how many stitches to put into the magic ring to start your round. Each round itself is going to be marked with a round number, a corner stitch um, marker, the end of your corner, which will be within the box itself, and then your actual row. So if we look down here, this is your row or round number. This is going to be the chain space or chain stitch from the row before. This will be the chain stitch on your current round. This will be the last corner stitch, and then you start your row right here. So this is gonna tell you which color you need. This will be a contrast color. This would be um, a background color or the opposite color. And for we'll go over this later, but the X here is going to mark um, for a double corner. So that means you will do a front loop only double crochet into the chain stitch um, two rows down, chain one, and then front loop double crochet in that chain space two rows down again. I will show you how to get started with these corners. They can be a little tricky. I think one of the best ways is to dive in. So first we're gonna start with our magic ring. And for this one, we're gonna do eight stitches. All right, so I'm just gonna take my yarn. To make a magic ring, there are many different ways, many different tutorials that will help you. Um, this way just works for me. So I take the yarn, I have the tail facing towards me, and you're gonna pinch the yarn, rotate away from you, so then you have this loop right here. I'm gonna reach through that loop, grab the yarn that's towards you, and pull through. So this should be your magic loop here, or magic ring. You can test to see if it is done correctly by pulling on the tail, it should make the circle smaller. And it does, excellent. So let's do that one more time just to show you. I will use the back of this to make it a little better and easier to see. So tail of the yarn faces towards you. We're going to pinch like so, tail towards you. Pinch the middle, make a loop by twisting away from your body and then grab the tail of the yarn and pull through. All right, so we have our magic ring. There are more tutorials you can find online if you wanna choose a different way, whatever way works for you. Alrighty, so we're gonna do eight single crochet into this magic ring. So let's get our yarn, get started. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great, so let's double check that we have all eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight right here. All right, so pull that tail very tight so that we have a little bit of a circle. And now you are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of that round. Perfect, pull that tail tight again, and we have our magic ring. So on this pattern, we have our magic ring, and then our first row right here is going to be in the same color. So you always start by chaining one, and you're always going to start with your corner. So that's going to be a back loop only single crochet, chain one, back loop only single crochet. So we just did um, our first corner. We now have one back loop only single crochet, and then we do our next corner. So back loop only single crochet, and we'll do our corner. So the corners are worked in the same stitch. This first round can be a little tricky because you don't really have anything established yet. It does get easier. All right, 
So we have our next single crochet, which is here. Now we have another corner. This is all done the same stitch. We have a back loop only single crochet, chain one, back loop only single crochet. So right now you can kind of tell we have three corners, one, two, and three. So we're on our last row of the round, single crochet one, or back loop only. And then we have our corner. Excellent. Now we're in our last little bit. Okay, so you can see how it gets a little tricky here because we have all these stitches. So it's hard to tell. This was the chain one, so we're not gonna use that stitch. We're gonna use this stitch right here for our last single crochet. So back loop only single crochet. All right, so we've completed. This is our corner that we started with right here. One, two. So we are going to back loop only slip stitch to finish the round. All right, so now we need to change colors. So row two is done in the other color. The chart it's white, we're gonna use pink. So we're gonna start, you can leave a bit of a tail and you're just gonna slip that through. Tighten and you're ready to go. So again, we're starting on a corner. This is a regular back loop only single crochet corner. So we'll start with our corner. We're gonna use this stitch right here, which was our slip, our slip stitch from the last round. Okay, so back loop only single crochet. Chain one. Back loop only single crochet. This is gonna get a little easier to see shortly. So we just completed our corner for this round. We're gonna do a front loop only double crochet into a stitch from the magic ring. Back loop only, front loop only double crochet, and then do another corner. So again, these beginning rounds can be a little difficult because your ring is not easy to see which stitch you need to get into. So we're gonna use this stitch right here for our front loop only. All right, so we do that double crochet. All right, so next we have a back loop only single crochet, which will go into that next stitch. You can double check which stitch you're on by making sure you're only skipping one when you do those front loop only double crochets. All right, so now we have another front loop only double crochet. And it's gonna go right here. Alrighty, so now we have our corner. So we're only skipping one. This is going to be where our corner stitch goes. So back loop only single crochet, chain one, back loop only single crochet. Now we're starting our next row. So whenever you have an X here, a front loop only double crochet here, right after the corner, it's going to share the same um, chain stitch as an X that would be over here. So let me show you what that means. So we completed this front loop only double crochet. We did our corner stitches and now we're gonna do another front loop only double crochet to start the next round, but it's gonna be in that same stitch space as the one from the other row. All right, so now we have another back loop only single crochet Front loop only, double crochet. Okay, now we're gonna do our corner. And that front loop only, double crochet goes in that same chain spot. Oops, good. Alrighty, so let's finish this round. Alrighty, so we finished that round. That was round two that we just did. And now we are going to do um, 
We're going to complete our round with a slip stitch. Perfect. So now we're going to start with our next color for round three. All right, so we have corners, five back loop only single crochet, and another corner. So we start with our corner, single crochet, chain one, back loop only single crochet. And we have five back loop only. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so this is our chain space. Our chain stitch right here. So we're going to do our corner, back loop only single crochet, chain one, back loop only single crochet, another five, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and a corner. So you can see how those corners are getting a bit sharper and much more defined so you can tell where you are turning now it's a little bit easier all right we have another five Oops. one two three four and five all right we have another corner And we are now on our last row of this round. Remember, each round is going to have four rows. So you're going to do each instructions four times. Three, four. And it can be kind of hard to see because we pull the other color tight, but here is five. Oops. Great. All right, now we need to join our round. Slip stitch through that first one. Is round three done? Again, you can kind of start seeing those corners are really, really visible now. Alrighty, change color. We have another round that is all back loop only single crochet. So I will finish that quickly for you. Change color. All right, we'll join with that first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. Your corners are gonna curl up a little bit in the beginning, just pull them and they will lie flat. Couple tricks. If you find that you are having trouble seeing where you need to use the chain stitch from prior rows, you can always use a little stitch marker or any kind of marker so that you can always know exactly where that chain stitch is from either two rows down or on each round as you work. All right. So we've done our magic ring right here. We did row one, row two, row three, row four. So we're now in row five. So row five, we'll do a corner, three, back loop only single crochet, three front loop only double crochet, three back loop only single crochet. So we'll change color, start with our corner. We have three back loop only, one, two, three. Then we have three front loop only, one, Two, three, three back loop only, and we'll do our corner. All right, just so you guys know, as a reminder, each row is going to increase by two stitches, one on each side of the row. So at first we had one, then we had three, then we had five, seven. So now we're working with nine. Next row will be 11. 
etc. So I'm going to finish this row and I'll come back when it is done. Okay, so that row is done. So we just completed row five right there. All right, so now we're gonna start with row six. So we have our corner, three back loop only single crochet, one front loop only double crochet, three back, one front, three back. So let's change our colors with our slip stitch. Start with our corner. All right, so three back, one, two, three, one front, three back, one front, three back, and our corner. All right, I'll finish this round. I'll see you when it's done. Alrighty, so that row is done. So that was row number six. So now we're gonna do row number seven. Row number seven is a little different. So we have what um, we're calling a double corner essentially. So instead of doing those back loop only single crochets on those corners, you're gonna do front loop only double crochets in the chain space two rows down. So, um, you're going to use this chain space right here for both this stitch, oops, sorry, this stitch and this stitch. So you end up with two from each row. So you'll end up with four in this chain space. I'll show you what I mean. So we'll change our collars. All right, so double corner. This is the chain space from the row, two rows down, or the chain stitch, excuse me. So we're gonna do a front loop only double crochet. Oops. So don't make your chains too tight when you do those corners, otherwise this might get a little difficult. All right, so we did our front loop only double crochet, chain one. Front loop only double crochet. All right, so this is where you can easily skip a stitch. So we just did our corner stitches. Now we need to start with this front loop only do double crochet, which is going into that same chain stitch. So front loop only double crochet, same chain stitch. And now we're gonna continue on. We have three more front loop only double crochets, five back stitches, four front stitches and then another double corner. Okay, so one, two, three, four, or sorry, five back stitches, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're doing four front loop stitches, so one, Try that again, one, two, three. And this fourth one goes into that chain stitch two rows down right here. All right, so we've completed the row instructions, but now we need to do that double corner again. So front loop only double crochet, we're using that same chain spot. Chain one, front loop only double crochet. And now we're on to the next row of this round. So we're back here. We just completed this stitch, we're starting here, four front loop only, five back, four front. That first one goes into that same chain stitch. So one, two, three, four, five back stitches, four front and another double corner, two, 
three, four, and then our double corner. Same chain space, chain stitch, one, chain one, and our double corner is done. So the point of these double corners, before I keep going, is so that you can get a solid corner instead of how these corners are not solid. So now we can make a solid section right there. So I'll go ahead and finish this round and then I'll catch up with you guys after. All right, so we're on our last corner of this round. I wanted to show you guys where your last stitch is gonna go. So we already did our double corner at the start of this entire round. So we just need to complete our four front loop only double crochets. So we have one, two, three, And our fourth one, remember it's going into that same chain stitch. So it's gonna go into the same one here. So wrap around, you're gonna to have to kind of poke your way through and do that double crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch to finish your round. So you can see how you'll end up with, if this is our chain space right here, you have one, two, chain one, three, four, all in the same chain space stitch. All right, let's do our next row round. So our round is round number eight, and this is all back loop only, single crochet. So let's get that one going. All right, so we just finished our row eight right here. Now we're gonna do row nine, which is our last row for the sample we're doing. So it's another double corner. You'll start with that double corner. We have another front stitch here and 15 back stitches, one front and another double corner. So let's get that done. Just so you guys know, when you do those double corners, you are gonna get these little flaps here but they're really not that noticeable towards the end. You can kind of anchor them a little bit if you'd like, but honestly, it's gonna make the fabric a little stiffer. It's better to leave it loose like this. You'll also notice where you've changed colors, you're gonna get this little kind of ladder effect. So you can make that a little less noticeable if you would like. By right, when you change colors, when you do that first, um, back loop only single crochet. You're just gonna crochet over the tail of your previous color. And so you'll see there's no ladder here of that color. I personally don't mind the ladder, so I leave it as it is. All right, so we're starting with that double corner again. I'm gonna use that chain stitch, two rows down. So front loop only double crochet. Chain one, front loop only, double crochet. All right, so that's our corner we just did. Now we have another front one and then those 15 back. So that front one, remember, goes in that same chain stitch. And now we have 15. So one, two, Fifteen. All right, so now we have our final front loop only double crochet and then our double corner. Again, those go in that same chain stitch two rows down. So that was that front loop only double crochet. Now we have our double corner. So front loop one, chain one, front loop only double crochet. And now we start it again. Start with that front loop only double crochet, 15 back loop only, and we do that again. All right, I'll catch you when this is done. Okay, so I just wanted to show you again how we finish these edges when it's the double corner. So we had our starting corner. We now just need to do our last front loop only double crochet right here. 
and that goes in that same chain stitch two rows down. Join with that slip stitch. And we're done. We did the whole nine rows. All right, so you can finish this off with your ends. Um, tie them together, sew them in, trim the ends. And let's take a closer look at this. All right, so you can see a little better how we have these four stitches in that one chain stitch on these corners to get that solid look. You're gonna notice a little twisting of your center square at the beginning. It will work itself out. And if it doesn't, you can always block it. And that's what the back looks like. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoy the pattern. I'm always around to try and help you. Um, if you would like more videos like this or have any suggestions, you're welcome to leave it in the comments. And happy crocheting.